Hi there, this is Paige with Stamp Girl here on YouTube and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm sharing with you my project for the Pinspiration Collaboration for 2020. This is hosted by Creations by Kimber and we post our projects on the last Saturday of each month. So we find something that we've pinned on our Pinspiration boards and we make a project using that as our inspiration. And I found this card. It's by Lauren Weinmiller. Her, her um, website is mid, midmo, midmostamping.com. The um, pin on Pinterest led me to her blog and then I saw this card. Now what drew me to this card was just so simple and I loved the stamped image without it being colored. It reminded me of a blog that um, I saw a long, long time ago where the young gal made the most gorgeous cards and she never colored in her images. Her images were always just stamped and then she decorated the rest of the card around it. And I was so sad when she stopped blogging because uh, her blog was absolutely my favorite blog of all times. But this card reminded me of her and then um, just reminded me of that idea of stamping without coloring in it. It's just so simple, but it leaves such a nice impact. So I pinned that. And then I've been going through my stamps, especially my wood mounted stamps, trying to purge many of them because they just are taking up too much space and in the future I'll be moving probably to a smaller place and I just can't take everything with me. So here's the funny thing, I've pulled out a bunch of Stampin' Up! background stamps. This is 2005, that's 2006. That one doesn't have a date on it. And this one doesn't have a date on it. Anyway, I had set these in a pile to um, get rid of. And then when I saw this card, I thought, I've got a stamp a flower, long stem flower similar to this and I searched and searched and could not find it so it might have just been wishful thinking on my part but then I decided I remembered I had these stamps background stamps in a pile so I dug through the pile and pulled them out and thought that they'd work really nicely for the card idea that I wanted to do so I made four cards one of each using these four background stamps. So just like the original, I liked the, it looks like she stamped in gray so the black would just be too kind of in your face but the gray is a nice subtle color. So I started out with um, gray card bases and then I um, stamped the four backgrounds onto white cardstock with gray ink and I think the gray ink that I used was um, Smoky Slate. It's a Stampin' Up! color. Yep, Smoky Slate. Okay, and then I was trying to decide how I wanted to um, pair the image up with the color cardstock layer. And so what I did is I went through my ribbons, and most of these, if not all of these, are from Stampin' Up! And I just pulled out some ribbons that I really liked, and then I kind of matched the ribbon to the image. And then from there I pulled out the cardstock to go in the background. So this was a sample of ribbon that I think maybe Deb Hauk sent me. I'm not sure if I remember that correctly, but anyway, um, I believe this is Calypso Coral cardstock. And then, um, so I matched that image with the cardstock and the ribbon. And the last thing I did on all of the cards was go through my drawer of um, butterfly stickers 
and pull out some that would look nice with each of the images. So here's one card, and all the insides are the same colored cardstock as the front layer and then white. So then there's this one. This one is Rococo Rose and um, Rococo Rose um, Ribbon. I'm not going to remember the name of it. I know Deb will know. And then I pulled out a couple of butterflies that looked nice with that one. And then this one is Pretty Peacock. And this is a reversible ribbon that's Pretty Peacock and Old Olive. So I used the Pretty Peacock side, but then I chose some butterflies that were more the green tones to kind of tie in the ribbon together. And then this one is Seaside Spray. Now, I didn't use a butterfly on here because the background was some birds, but I did have a bird charm that came in a package from Michaels a long time ago. And one of the things I'm concentrating on the month of February is um, I keep a lot of my embellishments, uh, stickers, charms, whatever in drawers by category. So I have a drawer labeled birds and I decided at the beginning of the month to concentrate on birds this month. So um, when I saw this background stamp I thought perfect it has birds on it I know I've got a bird charm let's put it all together and I thought it looked really nice nice together. So those are my four cards for the Pinspiration Collaboration inspired by Lauren Weinmiller. So I want to thank Lauren for the inspiration. I want to thank all of you for joining me and down below I will have a link to all the participants in this collaboration. Please check out their projects and see what has inspired them from Pinterest. And now I'm off to create.